And then you have the mysterious Biden. We don't know. First, they're hiding it, denying it happens. And then when it's finally everywhere, they're like, well, but that's no big deal. That behavior cannot be normalized. So this is Glenn Beck, whom I call Colonel Sanders, and he is exposing the Biden's shady family business. We've already seen a lot of people talking about their shady business. Uh, man, them, they, they are receiving freaking gifts from all over the world right now. $3 million diamonds, money, like they're, his kids are on the payroll and they do a damn thing. In the house that are doing things. But I am not sure that they can get this done. First of all, they don't have the Senate and they don't have control, so they can't, they, they can recommend that the Justice Department prosecute, but then what? They can try to get the Democratic Senate to impeach somebody, but it's not gonna happen. But that's not reason for us to throw up our hands and say, oh, well, what can we do? I'm going to show you a lot of documents tonight and every single document you will be able to access. It's open right now at thereckoningguide.com. And before we move forward, I just want to say thank you to Heather again for always gifting subs to our family over there on Twitch. I appreciate that. That makes a I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hopefully the people who you're providing these um, subs to, they also appreciate it because you're such a good person. You don't have to do that, but you've done it. And I do appreciate it. The reckoning guide.com download our Biden crime family dossier, follow along and do your own homework on this. In this dossier, you will also find key information that will allow you to take action to finally hold the Bidens accountable. I'll explain a little bit more uh, a little later on in the program. I will say this. It's imperative that you share this type of video because although he's exposing the Bidens, you need to understand that supporters of the Bidens, when they see this type of information being put forth and they know that they've been supporting this person for years, they don't want to see it. They're not going to share it to people who think like them or who already believe that the Bidens are good people. They're not, okay? So it's up to us to share this information, hopefully so it can fall in the laps or in the algorithms of those who choose to remain deaf, dumb, and blind. That's just all I can say because at one point I was the same way. I didn't want to hear anything that was coming from the opposition. If you're talking bad about the person that I support, I don't want to hear it. So he's about to expose some stuff, but a lot of you all already know it. So it's like he's speaking to a, um, to a crowd of individuals who already have this information. But the key is to try to make these sort of videos grum, blow up because we have a mixed bag of individuals who support our channel and we want them to be able to see this type of information because they're not going to go to Glenn's channel and receive it. I can't get over how the mainstream media, the Bidens and the rest of the Democratic Party are really trying to normalize everything. They're, first, they're hiding it, denying it happens. And then when it's finally everywhere, they're like, well, but that's no big deal. It is a big deal because you don't see this type of behavior outside of countries like Venezuela or China or Russia. It's insane. A president or vice president making political moves around the world that coincide with their families making millions in the same places. It is not normal. At all. It is not right at all. It is not American. I don't care how they try to spin it. That behavior cannot be normalized. Check this out. Tell me this is normal. Back in March, the House Oversight Committee produced bank records that revealed multiple Biden family members were receiving shady payments from China. Bank um, subpoenas reveal that less than two months after Biden left the White House in 2017, he did business with a Chinese company. Now, I love this. This wonderful little Chinese company wanted to do some business. It's, a, it's an energy company, State Energy HK. They've uh, uh, wired just $3 million to Robinson Walker, LLC. This dude is giving a master class on Biden's F-ups. Oh my gracious, do y'all, oh my gosh. All right, all right. I hope I do not get in trouble for this video. All I'm doing, look, all I'm doing is just reacting to it 
This is not my information. This comes from Glenn Beck's channel, Blaze TV. I'm not snitching. I'm just saying. He did his research. And if you all hear anything that you find to be incorrect, then it's not my fault. Well, no, first we have to go to the Shell Corporation. Here's, here's what the real money is coming from. It goes to this Shell Corporation, and then it goes to this guy, Rob Walker. Well, who the heck is Rob Walker? Well, uh, Walker uh, LLC is a limited uh, liability company in Delaware. At the time of the wire transfer, Rob Walker's business account had $159,000 in it. What? So he the middleman that made it all happen. Hold on, hold on, it's getting juicy, juicy. And then overnight, $3 million from a Chinese, what does he do? What is that LLC? The very next day, Rob, uh, Robinson Walker wired $1 million to a company associated to Holy a business God. partner of Hunter Biden named James Galar. So now he gets a third. Again, do we know what, we know he's an attorney, so he probably can't say anything, right? He's, I don't know what he does, is he, because he's getting a third of the money. He looked like the fixer. He looked like the person that you call when you got problems with somebody. He, that's who he looked like. He looked like the person who goes around the world getting his hands dirty. That's who he looked like. If you can name one bad guy, if you can watch a movie and you, and you just picture a bad guy, you picture a villain, this would be that brother right here. Okay, so the, the Chinese government, through a shell corporation, takes money and gives it to him. He takes a third of it and gives it here. And then the rest of it comes here. Over the next three months, Walker would send incremental payments to multiple Biden family members in their country uh, and their companies. Uh, of course, you had Hunter and then you got James and then you have Hallie uh, and then you have the mysterious Biden. We don't know. Hold on, there's a mystery. <laughs> I think the mysterious Biden we don't know is in office. That's the one that we don't know. I think I seen a video. I'm not I'm not playing with you. I think I seen a video of President Biden where they showed the back of his neck and the back of his from the back of his head, it looked like it looked like he had on a mask. It looked like the person had on a mask. It may sound foolish. It may sound crazy. It may sound ridiculous. As a matter of fact, it does sound crazy when I when I said it and I'm starting to think about it now. It, it sounds pretty daggone crazy, but it looked like a daggone mask. OK, let's just go. Let's just go forward. Now, does any of this sound legitimate at all? Because what are these people? What have they done for this energy company? You might say, well, he's an expert of energy because he was in Ukraine. Uh huh. But what about these three? What, why did this Chinese company, first of all, use a pass-through company to disperse the funds incrementally over several months? If you are a supporter of Biden, and I mean this dead serious, if you are a supporter of Biden, please, please, please break it down for me in the comments of why this makes sense, that this is something legal, you know what I mean? This is something that everyone has been doing or that this is what companies do. This is the breakdown of it all. Boom, 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 boom. If you can do that, that would be absolutely amazing because I'm telling you right now, I'm not looking at this to get information to bash Joe Biden. Nah, not at all. I'm looking at this so I can get some truth. That's it. And if you have some truth, I would love to have it. Feel free to drop it. And people, if y'all see someone drop any information in the comment section and they are actually breaking down why these transfers work the way that they do and why they are, in fact, lawful, then don't beat them up too bad, okay? Although they're in, you know, you might be like, oh, we're conservatives over here. What are you doing over here, you liberal? You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do any of that, okay? All right, because I do want some information. I, I want to see how this all makes sense because the last thing I want to do is feel like I voted for a criminal. All right. Yes. And I'm not apologizing for it, but I voted for Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and cuss me out. Why was it done just a couple of months after Joe Biden left office? And if Hunter didn't share any of this money with anyone else, who's the mysterious Biden? Is this the way we do business in America?
No, I'll tell you how we do business in America. It's, it's a lot different than that. You don't have a shell company. You just have a company, okay? There's nobody secretly behind the company. And then if you want to do business with that company and that company wants to do business, it pays you, okay? Very clear. You pay me. I'll do this. What this is, is these people have the money. These people hire these people to do God knows what. And then it's laundered through all kinds of other companies and banks. Now, let me take a step back for a second. This doesn't sound normal. So imagine you're a very powerful person. Let's say the vice president of the United States. Maybe you have had aspirations to run for president, but life is so expensive. You've got a bunch of kids, including one specific kid that's always seemed to be in trouble. You've also got a ton of grandkids, one you won't even recognize. Um, none of this is cheap, mind you. You've never really held down a job anywhere, okay? Because that's not what you do. You've been in public service. How do you amass a ton of money without anyone knowing it? How do you get around the oversight of, of you and your wife's financial information? Hmm, that's tough. Let me spitball for a second. So you'd have your problem child. If it was me, this is exactly what I would do. You'd have your problem child and maybe even your brother who exists outside the financial oversight do a deal in a country where you might have political influence in influence either today or possibly in the future, but you'd have to be careful. You'd have the main company you're dealing with use one of their subsidiaries or maybe even one of their shell companies. And the funds would go from the main company, then to the shell, then on through a pass through, you know, somebody that you could really trust. And it would be good if they were an attorney so they could never testify against their client. And and there's always close family business associates that help with these kind of deals. So you compensate, let's say, a third of the total take to them. And then you set up a series of payments from the pass-through lawyer to various family members. Again, people that exist outside official oversight. Now, I don't know if this is legal. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it doesn't even sound ethical. Have you ever heard of business deals working this way that were legitimate? Well, I've never really thought of it, to be honest with you, but from the way that he's breaking it down, absolutely not. It does not sound legitimate at all. But let's say this is legitimate, okay? This is, and this is the only question, the only concern that I have. Joe Biden don't have anything to sell to these companies in order to receive these, the, um, this, these payments um, through the Shell Corporation to State Energy, HK Limited, um, to all of the other people that are being paid. So if he doesn't have anything to sell to them, what exactly is he giving them? Is he giving them access to something that he he has, being that he's the president of the United States of America? Um, is he selling future favors? Is he selling protection? Is he selling, I mean, what is he possibly selling to them? Is he allowing them to do business in the country um, undocumented? Is he is he selling some security secrets? I mean, what exactly is he selling? Whatever he is selling is illegal, is what I'm saying. I need to know, unless his wife then started a daggone knitting company or something like that. Maybe she's selling blankets or selling like sheets or selling books. Maybe he's selling books over there. Maybe he's selling TED Talks. I don't know. Maybe he's a speaker, you know, opposite of what he's doing for America. Maybe he goes over to these other countries and he speak for, for, you know, for a certain price or something like that. Other than that, he has nothing to offer these companies unless, okay, I'm just going to say this. I take that away. I, I take that back. I don't know if he has anything to offer to the companies. I mean, to the countries. I always call these other countries companies because I do look at them as companies I don't look at them as countries because most of them don't give a damn about their people who live in their country at all. They're not taking it. They're not taking care of them at all. If you want to people who complain about living in America and then they go look at how these other countries are living, they will shut their ass up quick, real quick. But all I'm saying is, what is he selling? 
to these countries in order to receive $3 million dropped here and there. Because the $3 million payment is not only one time. It happens all the time. Like they have received stuff from, it's, it's crazy. Okay, let me get back to the video. This is exactly what the bank records revealed back in March. But maybe this is a one-off. They, they don't do this all the time. I mean, this would be very complicated. You know what I mean? You can't just, if, this just looks shady. Mm -hmm. So is it possible this one deal was so shady looking because the Chinese just do business differently? Sure. Okay. All right. Maybe that's possible. Sure. Don't think it is. But sure, maybe that's possible. Let's look at that. Okay. But last week, what just happened? Last week, the House Oversight Committee released even more information. And you're not going to believe the system they put. They amassed over $10 million from foreign companies. Okay. The Biden family created a web of over 20 companies mostly limited liability, with the majority of them created while Joe Biden was vice president. Now these Many of these companies, in fact, I think all but three, have no employees, no product, no sales, nothing. They're just companies. So either the Bidens suddenly discovered their business genius with these companies that don't do anything right after Joe Biden became vice president, or it's something else. Hmm. What could it be? Well, the bank records that we just got revealed that not only were the Bidens receiving shady payments from China, uh, not only were they doing it in uh, Ukraine, but also now a businessman in Romania. Now, you see, this is interesting to me. Remember how Biden was focusing so heavily on corruption in Ukraine? Well, he was doing this while Hunter was being placed on the board of Burisma. Now, we know how that went, but it seems he was also doing the same thing in Romania. He traveled to Romania in May 2014 specifically to combat corruption. Watch. Corruption is a cancer, a cancer that eats away at a citizen's faith in democracy, diminishes the instinct for innovation and creativity. Already tight national budgets crowding out important national investments. It wastes the talent of entire generations, scares away investments and jobs, and most importantly, it divide, denies the people their dignity. All I'm gonna say is this, and, and the way that Glenn Beck is breaking everything down, Look, I want you, I'm going to have the link below so y'all can go and watch the rest of these or go and watch any more of his videos that tie into this. But the thing that really scares me about this is when he goes, when he speaks, like the time when he was just now speaking, he was just now talking just now. He was doing nothing but telling his secrets of what he actually does. He's saying what they shouldn't do, but he's saying what he does. He's saying what is wrong. And people should not do, but he's actually saying what he does. Even today, he says what he like when he went to Howard University and he was saying that white supremacy is the biggest threat and people are lying just to get power and money. He was talking about himself. 1000%. People are lying. Hey, I'm people. I want to know what Glenn is saying as well. What are they selling? Now, I agree with all of that, but I don't think... He and his family actually do. And a lot of people in Washington, I don't think, believe that. See that? He said, yeah, what he's saying is absolutely the truth. But I don't believe your family believe it. I don't believe y'all follow a different code. Y'all do whatever the hell y'all want to do. <laughs> and y'all like getting all of the money. If somebody actually taught a class. See, this is the thing. The people who need to hear it might not hear it. And they need to, man. It's, it's, uh, we need to find a way. It's up to us to find a way to make sure that they hear this information, that they see this information so that they can have conversations amongst themselves or maybe they already know. Maybe they already know. You know how the people are, um, who, are, who are cool with knowing that their relatives, you know, the people that they support, their friends, their relatives, they fine with them being the killers or the gangsters or the gangbangers. They fine with that. Because as soon as you kill one of their family members who have killed people in the past, they oh, 
They killed my baby. They killed my baby. Not giving a damn about all the people that their baby have killed. But as soon as it comes back to them, they playing defense. They protecting Biden. They don't want us to see this. And they don't want anybody else to see it. Why? Because it's about sides now. It's about Republican versus Democrat. The truths that they have been made privy to, they are ignoring on purpose because it makes them look dumb. Let me tell y'all something. If you voted for Biden, all right, and you're starting to find out that some of the things that he has done or some of the things that he do are shady as hell, that don't make you look dumb. That makes him look dumb. And the reason why I say that is because I voted for Biden and none of the truths that I'm finding find out about is making me feel like an ass. I, they don't make me feel dumb. Yeah, it do sometimes. But then I get over it and I realize, nah, he the stupid one. He's the one doing all the, Well, he's, he's not stupid unless what he's doing get him arrested. Because if what he's doing don't harm a hair on his head or his family's head, then it's a win for the Bidens. And all we're doing is just complaining with no action.